201 for this therapy, how old is it? 21 grams. Two years old. Two years old. Okay. Male, female? Male. Male. Okay, leave off first. So what's the main complaint? The sound? The wheezing. Wheezing sound, okay. From the nose. Ah, just the first one. So I will press the nose and see whether he opens his mouth or not. It doesn't. Can you hear the sound? Focus on here, yeah. Has it got running nose? No. 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 It probably got difficulty in breathing. Yeah. Mm. But it doesn't have gasping. Yeah. No, they, so you cannot submerge in the water because you can't breathe well. So there's some obstruction probably inside the nose. Mm. And uh, the problem is that it's very difficult to take out the things inside the nose. So he dare not go swimming underwater. If he goes swimming, he cannot breathe well, you see. So we can hear the sound? Can you can capture the sound? Yeah. He also how can't long? really open his eyes. Uh, how long has it been going on? Uh, the, the breathing may be about one, one week, one this, and a half weeks. This sound, how long is the sound? Yeah, one and a half weeks. Before that, no sound? Before that, no sound. And, but then he couldn't submerge in water for six months, right? No. no. Only recently only. The six month one is just a diet. The diet. He, yeah. diet to, he just want to eat prawns and... Mm. Prawns and meat. Mm. No. Does he open his mouth to gas? <gasps> no. No. What, do you, do you force feed him? No. Now we can see that the nostril is actually quite small. Normally they are bigger than that. So there's something blocked in the nostril, uh, uh, just behind the nostril. So unless you can unblock it, uh, which is difficult for for therapy and for dogs, of course it's easier. His nostrils are exceptionally small. Uh. There is some obstruction here. Can you zoom onto it? Zoom, no, you just, just put down here, he can zoom, don't, don't move. No, I mean the other thing we would want to try is we can, we can uh, try and dig out the, or enlarge the nostril. Uh, but then, of course, you need some anesthesia, but the problem is you can't breathe, right? His eyes, yes. His eyes, he keeps smaller. them close more. Eyes are smaller, is it? Yes. And he keeps them close more. Like mm. A lot of times, it's like half open. Yeah. So, mm. there's a upper respiratory tract infection. So, the treatment would be... Is there a way to scan his no, head and see? No, nothing much. It be seen. Yeah. I mean, you can x-ray here. Uh. But to see whether that's so you're I doubt whether it can be seen anything because this is a very small uh, small nose. Uh, I mean not like dogs or cats. Uh, they can see. So is it infection or is it obstruction? Obstruction leading to infection. Uh. He probably breathed something into his nose mm. when he was swimming. That was about two weeks ago, right? Maybe when he's walking around. No, something went in anyway. Yeah, he oh. liked to hide, of course hide in the dark places, hide under the hide under the cabinet. But can I breathe anything? Like yeah, you can breathe anything. You can breathe yeah. dust, dirt, hair, yeah. both nose. So the only thing is, of course, in dogs and cats, you can dig up the things. Huh? But in this fellow, it's so small. Let's say it's infection. The cost of treatment is antibiotics. Yeah, but you still got to dislodge the foreign body inside. Once you dislodge, you can solve the problem. I mean, this is the uh, based on dogs and cats, huh? mm. But uh, for therapy, I guess if it grows bigger, then naturally it will come out, right? No, it doesn't. Doesn't it's stuck there? So even X-rays, if you want, you can do an X-ray, but uh, I, I doubt you can see anything. Uh. Mm. Huh. So you have to decide what you want to do because the other way I would do is I try and dig out the thing from. Me. Is it obvious? No, no obvious. I can't see. It, mm. Inside, it, then, then it, it move. He has to move. Is it? So he has to focus. He keep moving. He, he out, the camera is not focused. Now the eye, I, I, the appetite is good or bad. Now that's the main thing. Is, it? is the appetite good? He eats prawn. No, I mean, has he got a good appetite? Is yeah, he, he, eats, he eats prawn. I think he has lost weight. He eats prawns, but does he yeah. finish all his food? Is he very hungry? Yeah, he, or you he all does have some gasping. Then you see, he always finish his. There's prawn. some gasping. Huh? There's some gasping. So the the best. I can give is an anti-inflammatory and antibiotic IM mm. and then we we'll see how it goes whether yeah. it bring down the inflammation and it can sneeze out or not yeah. oh, that would be one way but uh, don't, don't let him go somewhere in the water again no? let him take antibiotics from the, from the water mm. and sun him let him have very bright sun, sunlight no he has very bright sunlight so he shouldn't no. be put in water no because he cannot breathe 
But he so does, we need to feed only la. But he, he does go, go on the top uh, on top of the water, mm-hmm. but not submerged into okay. the water. He, he does go into water by himself. Like okay, he go by himself. It's okay, we don't don't. No, we don't we don't force anything. It's just as we have a big tank, we have a, a basking mm-hmm. platform, and at night he will go into the water himself. Okay. So how do you know this is a male or female? The male is long, the claw. The male is long, that's all you see. The tail is fat. You will see the tail. Huh? Yeah, yeah, the tail is fat compared. The tail is short. So he's long, fat, thick. Thick tail, huh? Mm. Normally we see the cooler car, the opening there. You know? mm. Okay, Ken, so uh, you, you want then uh, we will give the injection. Uh, Okay, finish.